Hello, I'm Mandy Tysolanius with the Da Vinci Initiative. The Da Vinci Initiative is a nonprofit organization that promotes teaching technical drawing and painting skills in K-12 classrooms. Today, we're going to talk about some tips and tricks that will help you become a better technical artist. In some of our other videos, we discuss materials such as setting your easel and making sure it's perfectly vertical. But today, I want to talk about another really important tool for artists, and that is light. Now, uh, we can't do anything without appropriate lighting on our subjects and our drawings. Now, uh, if you look at behind me here, you can see that I have a bark plate set up um, here. And it's really important that you have good light. It's really difficult to see values accurately with bad lighting. So one thing that you'll see in ateliers um, is an overhead light of some kind attached to their easel. So you know, with this overhead light, uh, it's helpful because you're, uh, when the light is coming from above, you're less likely to get shadows on your paper that interfere with what's on your page. Without this light, you can see um, that I'm getting light from different directions and it, it may interfere a little bit more with my page. So with this light, not only do we have um, enough light to see our page clearly, but it helps having a light source from above eliminate awkward shadows that may interfere with our ability to see. Um, now you'll notice that there is tissue paper uh, put over this light. Uh, the reason that is is that uh, a diffuse light is more helpful than a very stark, strong light. Um, you don't want a super spotlight on your page because that's going to make that part of your page look really bright and the other areas look not as bright. And when you finish your drawing and you take it into a daylight situation, you'll notice that you made things way dark in that bright spot because you had to keep darkening and darkening to see them under the brightness of that light intensity. So by putting some tissue paper or some other type of diffuser over your light, it helps keep your light from being so stark on your page. It helps diffuse it a little bit more so that you don't accidentally make things too dark in some areas because your light source was too strong in that particular place. Um, OK, so with lighting, uh, you know, if you do have an opportunity to work with natural light, that's great as well. You just want to make sure that um, your hand is not casting a shadow over the area that you're working. So if you are right-handed, you want to set your easel up so the light is coming from the left or that the window is coming uh, uh, is on your left-hand side, so the natural light is coming from your left-hand side. Um, the great advantage, of course, of using um, artificial light in a situation like this is that you are not dependent on the time of day. I know a lot of us um, work uh, full-time jobs during the day and uh, devote the evenings to, to improving our art education. So um, it's really nice to be able to work whenever you want to. Okay, so if you are using artificial light, it's really important to make sure that you're using a diffuser. Also equally important is to make sure that you do not uh, leave any tissue paper on the light unattended or uh, with a light that would get too hot. We of course uh, want to make sure that we are being very safe uh, with, with what you're using here. So if you do put tissue paper near a light bulb, make sure that the light bulb's not getting too hot and that you are very careful about turning off your uh, light between sessions.